How many of you view yourselves as a leader? You know, I hope every hand goes up. Because leadership today is our scarcest resource, yet it's our most needed commodity. And it doesn't matter what position you're in, we need you to be a leader. I love what John Quincy Adams said. He said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, to learn more, to do more, become more, then you are a leader. Ty Bennett not only teaches leadership and influence, he lives it. Having built a $20 million business with his brother while still in his 20s, Ty brings a young, fresh take on timeless principles that is fun and engaging. If you want to really succeed in life, then serve people. Your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. But I promise you when you begin to live your life this way, your professional and personal relationships will flourish and you will succeed beyond anything you thought was possible. Ty is the author of The Power of Influence, which Stephen M. R. Covey describes as frank authoritative and informative lasting influence means that people follow because of who you are and how you treat them this is the real kind of influence this is what real leadership is built on because it's no one is forced or compelled to follow you they choose to follow you because of the person that you are it's interesting because situational influence and temporary influence can become lasting influence but only when the essential ingredient of integrity is added. Ty has spoken to audiences around the world, from 20 people to 15,000. His clients include civic organizations and corporations such as Cordell & Cordell Law Firm, Riddles Jewelry, and Subway. My wife is still amazed that this is what I get to do. We were talking about that this morning, and I said, would you have ever imagined in your wildest dreams that I'd be able to do this? And she's pretty funny. She got a little smile on her face, and she said, Ty, in my wildest dreams, you don't even show up. But my wife is amazing. We've been married for seven and a half years, and we just had our third child. Not too long ago, I was on an airplane. I was sitting next to this lady. She was probably 80 years old. And she asked if I had a family, and I said, yeah, I do. I said, I'm married. I've been married for about seven years, and we have three kids. And she just got this shocked look. And I said, yeah, we don't mess around. And she said, no, but I think you do. Ty's storytelling ability, humor, and insight will captivate your audience. But his multimedia presentation that includes custom graphics and video will bring his speech to life, making it an experience your audience won't forget. And sometimes, just sometimes, I'm sure you can relate that sometimes you feel like life would be so much easier if you didn't have to deal with other people, don't you? So with what I do, I fly quite a bit. And because I'm based in Salt Lake City, Utah, and Delta has a hub in Salt Lake City, Utah, I fly Delta exclusively. Well, because I fly with them so often, I get upgraded to first class virtually every time I fly. It's kind of a nice perk. Not too long ago, I was taking a flight from Salt Lake City to Oakland, California, a quick hour and a half flight, and I was upgraded to first class. I was seated in seat 4B. I was probably the first one on the plane, and I sat down, and I pulled out my iPad, and I started doing some things. I wasn't paying attention as other passengers were coming on the plane. Well, all of a sudden, a man stopped next to me, and he said, get up, you're in my seat. And he said it just like that. He said, get up, you're in my seat. And I looked up, and I thought, wow. I said, I'm sorry, what seat are you in? And he said, this is first class. Do you realize this is first class? You're in my seat. <laughs> Don't you love people like that? And I said, yes, I realize this is first class. I'm also seated in first class. What seat are you in? And then he asked me what I still believe is the dumbest question I've ever heard. He said, did you pay to sit in first class or did you just get upgraded? Because I paid for my first class seat. <laughs> And so I answered him. I said, I got upgraded, which really stinks for you because that means I paid a lot less money for the exact same seat. I said, what seat are you in? And he said, 4C. 
I thought you've got to be kidding me. 4C is right across the aisle. And without any hesitation, any apology, he just turned and sat down in his seat. And, you know, I don't usually get worked up with people, but this guy, he got me ticked. And so I looked across the aisle and I said, you know what? You would suck at what I do. (laughs) And he goes, what? And I said, I didn't stutter. I said, you would suck at what I do. And he said, why is that? And I said, because you're not good with people. You're horrible with people. Just be nice. It's not that hard. (laughs) And he looked at me with a shocked look on his face like no one had ever told him that he was a jerk. (laughs) Have you ever met people like the guy in 4C? I'm sure we all have. And just for a moment, I want you to picture in your mind, put down whatever you're holding, picture in your mind the face of someone that you just don't get along with. Somebody who, I don't know, they get under your skin. They just bug you. And get a clear picture in your mind. Does everybody have a clear picture in your mind? Just out of curiosity, how many of you are sitting next to that person right now? (laughs) Anything is possible. I hope that you dream big dreams because you have a bright future ahead of you and the potential to achieve anything that you desire. Thank you very much.